It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11 and verse 17. And it reads, For thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, one it not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions, or unknown beasts full of word, rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or a filthy sense of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes. I want to give all praise, John, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Shemar Kakwarash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the word Igna calls God, and his name means he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is only begotten Son, who the word Igna calls Jesus Christ. And his name means he delivers by Hashem's in the name. Rick Kakwarash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessing to the Sashir Akim. Let's push it forward in the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites to look like the other nations. And since you're Agwati, I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dava Dar from GMS Line, St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back out of another video. And from what you just saw was a, a urban legend that was in... The city of Wisconsin is called the uh, the Bray Road Beast. All right, and allegedly they shot it and killed it. And I don't know if it's real or not, but maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'm not really sure. But regardless, a hey, um, the vibration is out there of these uh, different creatures because a. Hey, a lot of these creatures that you think this urban legend, they, they're actually real. All right. And the Lord is uh, revealing that there is a such thing as a spirit world. You see, and the Lord is about to let loose a lot of these uh, creatures. Right. I'm going to read verse 18 again. Or unknown wild beast full of rage, newly created. Breathing out either a fiery vapor or 50 cents of scattered smoke, right? Um, and when you look at some of these creatures that's in the dark, you look at their eyes, their eyes glow, you know, because um, a lot of these creatures, they can see in the dark because, you know, it, it ain't no light out there in the woods. So they got to be able to see, right? So vapor or 50 cents of scattered smoke. Or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes, right? Their eyes glow. It says, whereof not only the horn might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them, right? So the terrible sight of the beast um, can just make your heart, make you have a heart attack because you be so damn scared, you know, your heart's failing because the Lord about to let loose on this wicked kingdom, America, and, and yeah, hey, I believe it. Um, maybe Esau did kill him. But, hey, are, are you sure that's the only one? <laughs> maybe the Lord got more. Please, you ask us 36, and it's like it might be. Might be 38, 38 and 24, 39, yeah, and 28, oh man, I'm all over the place. It's Ecclesiastes 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in a time of their destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Right. Because the Lord going to have all uh, type of ways that he uh, puts you wicked people to death. Why? Because you people are evil. I mean, just everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis is, is uh, evil. Just how you drive, how you treat people, cut people off in traffic. Uh, 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 um, 
ignore people, butt people in the line at the grocery store, scoff at the men of the Lord, post pictures just for validation on uh, social media, uh, just how you think, what, what you eat, how you wear your clothes, everything everything that you do is just against the ways of your how about Shimi al That's why the Lord going to have to kill a lot of you people, you know. Um, Lord going to kill two-thirds of the Israelites because why? Because you wicked. And you heathen over here in America, hey, hey, you done. You came over here to shut up the uh, shop for a new life and to make money and off our people's ignorance, sell people poison, malt liquor, cigarettes, pork and all that other crap. All right. People are done. Let's go back over here to Wisdom of Solomon 17. And I'm going to start at 1. For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. But when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and fed with the bonds of a long night, Lay their exile from the ex internal providence, right? And it's going into uh, the men of uh, Egypt, the Egyptians, the night or the Lord he caused the darkness to come over the whole land of Egypt. But the Israelites, uh, they was in the land of Goshen, I believe. They still had light. But over there in, in Egypt, it was pitch black. Probably seemed like a damn dark cloud around them or something. All right. And let's look up that word, um, eternal uh, providence. I see you got the um, Bray Road beast right here. Now people uh, drew pictures of it and all that. Providence says the protective care of God or of nature as a spiritual power for providence. So fate, destiny, nemesis, God's will. Providence. Uh -uh. So fortitude. Yep. It says, it says later exile from the eternal providence. So exile means to cast out. So the Egyptians, so God wasn't with them. He was the total opposite of them. Right? Because if the Lord is the opposite of you, that, that, that means he, he's evil towards you. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions, right? We know what an apparition is. Um, demonic presence or a so-called ghost, which uh, I, I've had many encounters with uh, these apparitions, eh? and it ain't fun, you know, but Esau... Esau want to, like, want to um, go and hunt it and look for it. Yeah, we're going to go to this haunted house and, you know, I want to see something. You know, that just goes to show you how much of a devil he is and how much of his spirit is not right. But read on. For neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear, but noises as of waters falling down sounded about them. And sad visions appeared to them with heavy countenance. No power of fire might give them light, neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to light that horrible night, right? So yeah, they it was real dark down there. Only there appeared unto them a fire kindled of itself, very dreadful for being much terrified. They thought the things which they saw to be worse than the sight, they saw not. Right, so yeah, a lot of these demons, you know, I, I know the demon that I saw that uh, when I had the sleep paralysis, it looked like a dark 
Black Fire. Uh, I believe the, the brother from uh, GMS uh, Inland Empire, the one of the LA brothers, he um, he had this video of like the demons that was talking to that um, that Edomite priest. All right. So yeah, it looked like a black fiery. It was like a monster, but it was like a va black fiery vapor. And the funny thing about it, uh, I I seen that demon last year before I even before he even posted that video. So, <laughs> so that just goes to show you that hey, people see the same things because that ain't no coincidence. All right, we're reading on. As for the illusions of dark magic, they were put down, and their wanton and wisdom was. Reprove with disgrace, for they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear worthy to be laughed at. Yeah. You're laughing at you because you know you're so scared. For though no terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beasts that passed by and hissing of serpents, they died for fear, denying that they saw the air which could no side be avoided. Yeah. And I heard all that growls and stuff. Um, the brother GMS Vent, Vent Moore, I think that's the name of his channel, GMS Vent. Um, he said he um, had an encounter. For wickedness condemned by their own witness is very timorous and being pressed with conscience. Always forecast the grievous things. For fear is nothing else but a betraying of succors which reason offered and the expectation from within being less counted the ignorance more than the cause which bringing the torment but they sleep in the same sleep that night which was indeed intolerable and which came upon them out of the bottomless out of the bottoms of inevitable hell were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions and partly fainted their heart filling them for sudden fear and looked not for came upon them all right, so monstrous apparitions, you know. And yeah, what I seen that crawled that crawled on me that one night, that was a monstrous apparition. This is um so then whosoever there fell down was straightly kept, shut in a prison without iron bars. Yeah, it's like a mental prison. When um, those demons visit you in the night or whenever they visit you, uh, a mental prison. And it feel like it's forever, but it's really just only a second or two where you see it. Whether it were a whistling wind or a melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches. Um, it's like you. I didn't read verse 17. For whether he were a husband or shepherd or laborer in the field, he was overtaken and endured that necessity, which could not be avoided. For they were all bound with one chain of darkness. Whether it were a whistling wind or a melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches or a pleasing fall of water running violently. Or a terrible sound of stones casting, cast down or running that could not be seen or skipping beasts. Or a roaring voice of most savage wild beasts. Or a rebounding echo from the hollow mountains. These things made them swoon for fear, right? So I heard all that. I hear like little whispers. Um, You know, you, do, you fall asleep and you, you hear like some growling or something in your room. Then you wake up and nothing there. Yeah, I've been through all that type of stuff. You know? So, yeah, I know how I feel. Hey, and it's terrifying. And, hey, um, you really never get used to it. You just know how to deal with it. It's kind of like the hell you, you catch in Babylon, you know? Uh, you just know how to deal with it better. Even though you don't want to, you got to. For the whole world shined with clear light and none were hindered in their labor. Over over them only was spread in heavy night, an image 
of that darkness which could afterward receive them, but yet were they unto themselves more grievous than the darkness, right? Man, my mind playing tricks on you too. I mean, it's that damn dark. Seeing shapes and all that. You know, that's even a torture mechanism that uh, Esau Edom used when he throw you in prison. You know, I even had uh, Jake's that told me when they was in um, the hole, right? Um, uh, he was seeing like demons and stuff in the room, like like little short demons that like hop on them and all that and hold them down. So yeah, that shit real. And hey, the Lord, hey, he gonna open the portal. For all those demonic um, forces to overtake you, and yeah, and some and some of y'all gonna actually die, like you heathens, you gonna actually die from these beasts. But through the spirit, it look like the Lord let you kill one, uh, just you know, just for show, just to put it out there that He got him out there. So, hey, we, we just gonna have to wait and see because it's about to get wild up out here. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemar Shah? I hope this edifying. Shalom.